What is going on, YouTube? Feels like it has been forever. So long ago, we made a video, or I made a video, on how Merge Sort works, and I'm finally getting around to coding it. So here we are inside of Visual Studios under C++, and we're going to write out Merge Sort. As you can see, I already have stuff written on the screen. I'm going to try to keep this uh, short and sweet, uh, weed out all the stuff I do in previous videos, like uh, read the file and write out the print function and... Uh, partially right main but there you have it we have you know print numbers which runs through the loop and prints out the numbers and then we have read the file so we read this file get the line from the file and then push it back to this vector here which uh, we convert it from the string over to an integer and that's it so let's get right to it so if you recall from how merge sort works we have a function called merge sort I can spell here merge sort and it is recursive so this it is going to kick merge sort off and we do need a vector for temporary numbers to hold our sorting so we'll just go ahead and create that real quick and name it temp and we can go ahead and pass nums to sort there temp there and then we can print we can start from the left side and then we'll start from the very end of our vector which we have no idea what the size of that is I mean obviously it's 10 numbers but if this was a uh, real world you wouldn't know so you can just do size there this is all that main is going to entail so you just go ahead and print the nums and then we'll print nums to sort again because it should be sorted once we are done hopefully fingers crossed if I can do it right so let's go ahead and jump down here and write out Actually, uh, do it above, right up here. So we can go void, merge, sort. And then we have our uh, vector. So vector of ints. We'll just say nums uh, to sort. And we have our vector int uh, temp. And we have our left side. And then our right side, int right. We need a variable for our midpoint, so um, int mid there. So then we check if the right is greater than the left. We can go ahead and swap, do the swapping here. So we go mid is equal to the right plus the left divided by two. That's how we find our midpoint. And then we can go merge sort again. Here's the recursive part. Thumbs to sort temp the left and then we get just go up to the midpoint here and we go ahead and do it again so merge sort thumbs to sort temp and then mid plus one since mid is covered in the previous merge sort and then we go ahead and go right and then we can say merge. So then this takes nums to sort, temp, left, mid plus one, and the right side. Pretty easy, right? Merge sort, that's all to it. <laughs> if only, right? So here we go. This is the main, main bulk of the program right here. Merge. This right here is just breaking out, breaking down the vector. And then we pass it all over to merge and it puts it back together in the correct order so there's merge sort so we can just go ahead and say uh, void merge to create our merge function and then we say vector int comes to sort and the vector int uh, temp int uh, left, int mid, and int right. So there we have our definition. So the int i, int left end, int size of the array, and int uh, the position. So position of
our temp. Down here we find our positions. So left n is equal to mid minus one. Temp position is equal to the left side. And then we say size is equal to right minus left plus one. And here we get here starts the fun part. So let me get the screen down a little bit. While left is less than or equal to the left end and oops and mid is less than or equal to the right. You can jump inside of this while and if Nums to sort the left side is less than or equal to nums to sort oops nums to sort uh, mid you can jump inside of this if block and if temp position or temp uh, the temp position is equal to can be equal to nums to sort left and we increment temp, uh, temp position plus one increment left plus one so while the left is less than mid minus one and mid is less than right Go ahead and pop the left side in this temp array. Else, you go temp, temp position is equal to nums to sort at the mid spot. Same thing, increment temp position plus one, and then we increment mid plus one instead of left. The first if else block not too bad so far so here's our second while loop so while left is less than or equal to left the left end let's go ahead and jump inside of this the temp at oops at temp position it's been incremented is equal to nums if and only if the top has been triggered to sort at the left This is in Python, we need a semicolon at the end. Left plus one and then temp position also plus one again. So then we jump into another while loop and then while mid is less than or equal to right. Relatively the same thing, temp at the temp position is equal to nums to sort mid but instead we say mid plus plus and uh, ten position also gets incremented by one and then our last loop not a while but a four we go four i is equal to zero i is less than or equal to the size I plus plus. We say nums to oops nums to sort the right side at the right position equals temp uh, at the right position. And then we just decrease right by one. Got a lot of extra space down here. We're gonna clean up. All right, there are some things we're gonna have to clean up here before we run it. So seeing how we have merge below merge sort, you actually have to take this and move it below since uh, it reads the top down and it won't know what you're talking about. So we'll put merge down here and then it knows what merge is because like I said, it reads from top down and knows exactly what we're calling. And then we are using, we are changing values for our vector here, which is passed back which we will need to pass by 
reference and not by value. So we go ahead and pass it by reference. I'm sure you're going to need to fix these as well. And then, as I was thinking when I wrote it, I was pretty sure I was correct on that, which down here in our merge sort and our main function, uh, we will want to add minus one to our size because otherwise we'll go over the actual size of the vector. So we have minus one. So let's go and run it and see what we got. Nice, it's gonna happen. If we had to declare our temp here, there's nothing in there, so it has no idea what we're trying to access. So basically it's null and there's no position here. We can't even access it, that's why we have that exception. So let's go ahead and take this temp here and we're gonna actually pass it down to this readnums file, which we're not going to actually add to this. Uh, if we were not to know the size of this nums to sort or the number the f numbers in the I should say if we not if we don't know the length of the file uh, we can just do this that way it this size is equal to nums to sort size so we go ahead and pass temp into here which is going to be by reference as well so vector int temp variable reference and then while we'll get the line of pushing back into nums.sort we'll just simply go ahead and push back zeros inside of temp that way it's allocated to the correct size and let's run it now and see what we get another error fantastic the part of programming the joys of programming, I should say, which we're going over the size here as well. Too big. We don't want to go up to the size. We actually just want to go one minus the size. Let's run it and see what we get this time. Hopefully it works. And boom, there it is. Two errors later, we managed to do it. Let's see if I can go ahead and zoom in here so you guys can see. Four, not even in order. And one through ten. Easy in order. Let's go ahead and uh, create or add more numbers to this. Let's see what happens. So we have ten thousand. We have ten thousand numbers, I believe. I don't remember. Eight numbers, ten numbers, and ten thousand numbers. Ha! Huh. Let's go ahead and run ten thousand times and see what happens. <laughs> Nothing. It broke. Broke because this does not exist. It's actually. 10,000 numbers. And that's a lot of numbers. I mean, there's 10,000 at the end. That's a good, good sign. We can find where we begin. Oh, look, there's our three. Nice. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Merge sort inside of C++. Sorry this wasn't the most elegant video. There were some errors. But like I said, that's the part of programming. Solving and debugging, that's probably, I'd say, 75% of your time coding. But there you have it, Merge Sort in C++. I hope to get back to these videos soon. I have been super busy as of lately. But as always, if you watch this, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you to all the new subscribers. Sorry to keep you waiting. And hopefully, again, we'll keep this trend up. It should be one of the other languages, Java, Python node we don't know yet but we'll see we should hit them all anyway but thank you see you next time